Hi there, this is Diane Doyle in Plant Based Dallas. And since we have some wonderful weather today, it's gotten me in the gardening mode. And I'm gonna start some onion sets inside my greenhouse or close to the house where they can't freeze. And I filled up this um, rectangular pot with some fresh dirt. And I just wanna show you how easy it is to start these onion sets. Literally, I'm just going to sprinkle all these little seeds all over here, just like that. I'm going to open up another one, and I'm just going to grow these in here until they get to be, oh, two to three inches tall, actually three to four inches tall, and um, I'm going to dig them all up and then go put them in other parts of the garden. But this is just to get them started early. This is really, literally, how easy gardening is. If you have any space in your lawn, why don't you try planting vegetables instead of, now I'm just going to do this a little bit. Try planting vegetables where you might have plants and flowers. I changed over most of my landscaping to be edible landscaping a couple years ago because I thought, why am I wasting all this water on just pretty things? So uh, it may not look as great as it used to, but I'm going to get lots of um, plants from my landscaping. And also, look what I just pulled up. If you plant onions, these are leeks that I planted. If you plant onions or leeks or anything out of the Allium family, let a few of them go to seed and you'll get these big, beautiful balls of seed. And then you just uh, will have onions for the rest of your life. I'll take you over to my garden now and show you what I have growing. Okay, we're gonna come on over here. I've got one of my uh, keyhole gardens there. And look at all those leeks over there. And here's a brand new set of them right here, but it's time for me to dig these up. These were last year, so I'm gonna start harvesting them. I don't need to buy onions for a while. You can always substitute leeks for any kind of onions. Even my cabbage, this is not cabbage, this is collard greens. They have survived the winter, and there's some good leaves in here that haven't frozen, so I'll be using a lot of those. Another thing that uh, gets through the winter is arugula. We'll cover these up when we get a bad freeze, but this is nice arugula to use in salads and dishes. More collard greens, some curly kale that I'll use. And uh, in my other keyhole garden, I've got some Swiss chard. Some of them have been freezer burnt, but there's a lot of good ones. I'll clean this up and um, we'll use these greens. Uh, Pat and I would love to help you with a garden. So if you want to start dabbling in it, call Pat and I and we'll come let you know how to do it. I've got some spinach and some radishes in here. Again, I covered all this up during the freeze and it looks like it fared fairly well. I'll come in here and uh, bring my tiny scissors and I like to cut off these greens while they're small. These are all a bunch of different kinds of spinach and greens. I've even got some baby kale started and parsley. This looks like uh, parsley right there. So uh, y'all try your hand at gardening. It really is not hard and um, so worth it to be able to go out into your backyard any time of day, any time of year, and harvest what you can. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.